Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to get input from a user. So we're basically going to allow a user to input information into our program. And I'm actually going to take the information that the user inputs, I'm going to store it inside of a variable, and then we're going to be able to do something with that variable. So I want to show you guys how we can actually go about getting input from someone. And down here in my Python file, all I have to do to get input from someone is I just have to type out input and then an open and closed parentheses. And what this is basically going to do is it's going to tell Python like, hey, we want to get input from a user and Python will allow the user to type in some information. And inside of these parentheses, we can actually type a prompt. And so generally, when we want the user to enter in some information, we want to tell them what we want them to enter. And that's what we can put inside of here. So I'm just going to say, enter your name. So we're actually going to create a little Python app, which is going to allow the user to enter in their name, and then we'll store the name inside of a variable. And then we'll basically just say hi to the user. So we'll say like, hi, and then whatever the name they entered was. So what I want to do is I actually want to store whatever the user inputted into our program inside of a variable. So I can actually go over here and I can create a variable, I could just call it name. And I could set this variable equal to input. So what I'm doing now is I'm taking the value that the user inputs, and I'm storing it inside of this variable container called name. And so now I have access to whatever they entered in. So what we can do is we can say print. And inside of the parentheses, I can just print out hello. And then I'm just going to add on to this name. And actually, why don't we put an exclamation point. And so essentially, we're getting a name from the user, we're storing it inside of the name variable, and I'm printing it out onto the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and play this. And when we run the program, you'll notice down here, Python is giving us this little prompt. So it's saying enter your name. And now in here, I can actually type in a value. So I could type in Mike, and then I can just hit enter. And Python's going to go ahead, store this value inside of that variable. And then it's going to print out Hello, Mike. And so this is kind of cool. And actually, what we could do is we could prompt the user to enter in more than one piece of information. So I could actually copy this line of code. And I'm going to paste it below here. And why don't we have the user enter in another variable. So we could have them enter in, for example, their age. And over here, we just want to say enter your age. And so now we're able to get two pieces of information from the user. And I could say hello name. And then I can say you are and I'll print out their age. So I'm just going to print age. So now I'm basically able to get both of these pieces of information from the user, I can get their name, and I can get their age. So when we run this program, I can type in both of those pieces of information. So it'll say enter your name. So we could just make up a name like john, and then enter the age, let's say john is 25. And now it's going to say hello, john, you are 25. So the program is able to get input from the user, and then it's able to use that information in order to say hi to the user and tell them how old they are. And so getting input from the user is a great way to make your programs more interactive. And here we're just scratching the surface, right? We're just basically getting two, you know, pieces of information from the user, but you can use these inputs to do awesome things in Python. And as we go through this course, you're going to see some really cool things that we can do with these inputs. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve. So if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.